welcome once again to On The Mat, coming to you once again from the Canterbury Court Stadium right here in Christchurch, New Zealand. Tonight, we have a very special guest in the audience, Mr Billy T. James from Radio Times. Give him a big hand, everybody. There he is. Well, we'll be talking to uh, Billy T. James in, uh, in uh, just a moment, and in fact, later on in the program. But first, we've got the night's card from Steve Rickard. Steve? Thank you, Eddie. And on tonight's card, the first match is a big tag event. Uh, Larry O'Day and Merv Fortune, and they come up against Kid Hardy and Ricky Rickard. And the second event on the program, uh, Jack Clayburn will fight it out with Ron Miller. Right, sounds like plenty of action on, on the mat tonight. So let's go to centre ring and our ring announcer, Bert Durr. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a heavyweight tag one fall match in the blue corner from Australia, Larry O'Day. And his partner from New Zealand, Mo Fortune. In the red corner from Australia, Kid Hardy. And his partner from New Zealand, Ricky Rickard. For tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tony Rickard. Wrong goes for the opening of round one, the only round in this uh, match with Mer Fortune and uh, Kid. Kid Hardy opening with a wrist lock and Hardy uh, counters, takes an arm bar and a reverse, uh, reverse uh, arm drag by Hardy, tags Ricky Rickard. Well, the lad's starting fast and furious there, uh, Steve, looking good. A uh, long time since we've seen uh, Kid Hardy on, uh, on the mat and it's nice to have him back. Yes, uh, good wrestler, Kid Hardy, Ronnie, and uh, I think he'd be a very good partner for young Ricky. Ricky with an arm drop. Tags Kid Hardy. I always remember Kid Hardy in the early days of On The Mat, uh, uh, Steve, I was always impressed with uh, the way he moved. He always moved very, very fast, didn't he? Very fast move, he is. He has a, uh, now has an arm bar applied here, wrapping the uh, arm uh, of fortune across his own thigh to apply pressure. Hardy tags Ricky again. Good tag wrestling, they're tagging. Uh, each other frequently, which is the uh, art of this game. Fortune turns the tables. No, Ricky kicks Fortune off. It's an arm drag as he comes up. Well, Larry O'Day trying to reach, trying to reach in there to move Fortune, but Ricky Rickard taking him back, dragging him away from the reach of Larry O'Day. Good work from uh, Ricky Rickard. Her fortune really feeling that one. Oh, there's the tag. Nice tagging. Kid Hardy now in there taking the tag. Well, these two fellows really working well with one another. This will be the first time that uh, Ricky has uh, tagged with uh, Kid Hardy, and they look to be a, com a good combination already, Steve. Yes, they do. They're, as I said before, Ernie, they're tagging the right way, frequent tagging, and that is the art of tag wrestling, not to stay in the ring too long when you have a partner. Oh, I think that, uh, yes, we couldn't quite see it, but it was obvious that um, that uh, Kid Hardy's hair was held on to. He's pulled back to the ropes, and now he's into the corner with uh, Larry O'Day with a tag. So Kid Hardy on the receiving end, that was unfortunate. Merv Fortune taking him to the ropes by the hair. And uh, certainly giving an advantage to uh, Larry O'Day. Larry O'Day really giving him no quarter at this stage. He's uh, right into them. Both these young men starting very, very well indeed. But the tag team of Larry O'Day and Merv Fortune on top. Double kick. Referee calls for a break. 
uh, Fortune came into the ring. Uh, O'Day holding on the other arm. They both double kicked Hardy before the count of five. Hardy thrown in the ropes. Backdrop by Fortune. Fortune tried to forearm them to the back of Hardy. O'Day with the face lock applied. Hardy trying to uh, fight his way back to his corner. Good moving by Hardy as he lifts the leg, uh, first one leg of O'Day, then the other. Makes the tag, Ricky comes in. Nice one. Well, this is some pretty exciting stuff here. Move Fortune coming into the ring and interfering. I was going to say, Steve, that there was a, a, a good result for Ricky there, but it gave O'Day a chance Ooh. to recover, and oh my word, right into the uh, lower part of the ring there, and O'Day once again getting into the young man as he did with Kit Hardy after Fortune had set it up for him. This is a bad one. Ricky should stay out of the ring, wait for that count of ten, take all the time he can. This is where the inexperience shows up a little early. Uh, uh, if he wastes more time outside, Give himself a spell, but uh, O'Day's taking over, dragging him back into the ring to allow Fortune to come in. Body scissors applied. The people in the crowd calling for Ricky, we want Ricky. Ricky trying to fight his way to his feet, he has. O'Day reaches in, the crowd not very happy. Card, and he makes the tag. Kid Hardy hits the ring. My word, Larry O'Day made a blue there. He came in to interfere with it, and he oh, Kid Hardy! Oh, there's the hair again from Fortune, and Kid Hardy not falling for that one. Kid Hardy moving very well indeed. The crowd terribly excited. No doubt about it. Kid Hardy looking good. I think he should be looking for a tag here, or perhaps he wants to give uh, Ricky the uh, a little bit of a rest. Oh, well, sure. Ricky's in there too, Steve. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm not sure who's in there illegally, Ernie, but, uh, and I'm, I'm still not. It looks as if O'Day and uh, Hardy are the legal ones in. Well, we're just about to the end of this bout, and there's an action, action of plenty there. There's no doubt about that. Kid Hardy wrestling very well indeed and very impressive. Oh, he's throwing him out of the ring. That was a vicious move from Larry O'Day, Steve. About. Over the top by right, Bernie, it's disqualification. The referee has called for a, <coughs> the goal to be won. Uh, he's disqualified a day for a throwing hardy over that top rope. Well, that was uh, action of plenty there. I thought that Kid Hardy was going to make it and in fact was, um, was going to win the match for them. Uh, Steve Rickard's got Larry O'Day there at ringside, Steve. O'Day and Fortune were both disqualified. Rickard, what do you have to do around here to win a match? Dopey Hardy falls over the top rope and we get disqualified. Well, I'll tell you something out there. I'm not only the best wrestler, I'm the toughest damn person that's ever been in this country. And Miller, you get on those tape fists if you want to fight. You want to wrestle? I'll punch holes in you! Well, we have a rough word from Larry O'Day, but we'll be back with more action and over dirty. Thank you, Steve. Well, uh, you saw right at the end there, there was uh, just a, an absolute hullabaloo and, uh, and wrestlers over the floor and all over the place, but the disqualification, and rightly so, Ricky Rickard and Kid Hardy winning. Well, uh, I'd like to... Uh, Welcome, our very special visitor. Billy, welcome to On The Mat. Thank you, Eddie. I know you're a wrestling fan because you told me, and I know you weren't kidding. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. 
And I tell you what, the weather down here might be cold, but the atmosphere tonight is very hot. I'm yes, yes. What did you think of that last bout there? Uh, oh, no? that's right. I think I can answer uh, a question that's asked by thousands of armchair viewers. It's all for real. All for real. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we'll be. Um We'll be uh, talking to uh, Billy uh, T at the end of the match to see what he thinks about it. Well, you might remember uh, a few months ago, in fact, probably just over a year, we had a group here called uh, Brute Miller and Sweet William. Well, they've been over in the States campaigning, and they're due back on On The Mat in a few weeks' time. We thought you might like to see how they went in action. Here they are. Second round of this duration match, Miller and William, one fall out. Strangled by Sweet William. Sweet William pulling the head of Leota back. The referee is this illegal. He put a count on William. Thanks, Miller. Leota trying to fight back. He's trying to get to his own point. Bad position. But he ducks nicely there. And as Miller turns round, the Oda arm drags him. Miller backs off into the corner, tagging William. Well, the Samoan lad is coming back and surprising both Brute Miller and Sweet William. A little while ago, it looked as though they had uh, the Samoan boys at their mercy. But they've come back strongly. They're looking good. Very fit for both of them. And they go for a... And another fall. And the count of three again. They go for a double backbreaker there, bringing uh, the Samoan down. The referee's allowed to fall. Obviously, an illegal move. Uh, Miller and Sweet William, my golly, uh, Steve, they, I guess they're still as tough as they ever were. Clearly they've done very well overseas. Uh, in fact, they actually won the Canadian title over there. And uh, uh, they are top wrestlers, in the top wrestlers in the United States. And uh, it will be really a pleasure to see them wrestling in New Zealand again. Yes, it certainly will. OK, right, we're up for the second bout on the night's card. And it's over to Bert Dern, the ring announcer. OK, go. Yeah. He says go. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a heavyweight duration match. In the blue corner from the United States of America, Jack Claiborne. Yeah! And in the red corner from Australia, Ron Miller. Yeah! Once again, your referee, Mr. Tony Ricker. Jack Claiborne, Ron Miller. Ron Miller, who unfortunately lost the Commonwealth title in last week's match, up against Jack Claiborne, a former holder of the Commonwealth title. This should prove to be a very interesting wrestling contest. Arm drag by Claiborne. Pretty mover, Jack Claiborne, Ernie. Yes, he certainly is. In fact, uh, we've got in here two very fine wrestlers, Steve. You know, uh, we should... Uh, I'm certain we're going to see uh, an excellent wrestling match, and uh, it'll be a scientific one, I'm sure, because both these fellas have come up through the amateur ranks. We know them as fine wrestlers. When you get two fellas up like this uh, uh, against one another, uh, I think you can expect to see a damn good wrestling match. Yes, and uh, that's just what we are seeing. There's Ron Miller, a hammerlock applied, and Claiborne looking for a, a switch out here, coming to his feet. Takes the leg out for Miller. Miller kicks Claiborne off. Nice cartwheel. Nice cartwheel. Uh, Ron was not expecting that. Come on, 
Yoke hold applied by Claiborne. Muller looking for the counter, taking his time. Muller blocks the move there by bringing his foot forward to staying, staying right on balance. Oh, and Claiborne outsmarts him, sits through, takes him over. Still with the yoke hold applied. Up into a forward bridge, his head to the canvas, his toes uh, and feet apart to apply and gain more leverage. Miller slowly, very slowly coming to his feet, keeping the balance. A day with uh, Claiborne rather with the pressure applied and Miller picks him up for a slam. Claiborne holds on. Holds on and comes out uh, in the advantage position again in a forward bridge, applying the pressure. Claiborne, you can actually uh, hear him thinking. He's up against uh, the man who just lost the title, the Commonwealth title, and Claiborne trying to show himself up with Miller. Uh, Claiborne himself, who came close to winning the tournament in Australia. Very fortunate to see two such fine wrestlers in the country at one time. Miller throws Claiborne on the rope. Claiborne goes and comes off quite slowly, but Miller was waiting. Oh, and Claiborne counters again. Claiborne is right there all the way in this match. Ron Miller having a hard job out thinking Claiborne. This is what wrestling and scientific wrestling is all about, is uh, where a man can actually stay two or three holds ahead of his opponent, then he's on the way to winning a match. Claiborne staying in close with the, with the move, applying pressure to the yoke hold, there's one arm. Uh, Miller changes, takes a headlock. Body smashed by Miller. Claiborne throws him into the ropes, comes over, bit of a roll up, Panacona roll up. Count of two, and uh, Ron Miller throws off, throws Claiborne off. Hurdles Claiborne on the ropes. Oh, oh, double, oh, double hip toss there, Claiborne again waiting, count of two again, and once again Miller throws out. Another roll up by Claiborne. Miller holds on, Claiborne comes up. No, Sunset Flip, he's turned the tables on Claiborne. The count of three, count of three, fall, a fall to Ron Miller. I don't think the match is over. And that was a first fall, a duration match. First fall goes to Ron Miller. And the gong goes for the start of round two of this match. And uh, Ron Miller, one fall up. Incidentally, the move that Ron Miller applied, uh, at least uh, Jack Claiborne applied Ron Miller roll up, uh, is a hold that was uh, first first uh, invented by Pat O'Connor, former New Zealander and former World Heavyweight Champion. Nice toe hold, nice flying toe hold there by Ron Miller after Claiborne had hit him with a body smash. Uh, Miller was waiting as Claiborne came off the ropes, dropped down, took the toe hold, and now has Claiborne in a very, very good position, very dangerous position for Jack Claiborne. We've seen some great wrestling, really, in this match. And, we certainly uh, have, Steve, yes, and uh, by golly, uh, it could be an even up here uh, if this uh, carries on like this. Uh, well, I don't know about an even up. See, Ron has actually one fall ahead, uh, Ernie, uh, with the uh, and the fact that he's in the position he is in now. He's actually, if he can hold on to his position, there can't be too much of the match left. Yes, but um, Jack's a very fast mover, uh, Steve. And by golly, I've seen him do some very quick ones. You know, a succession of drop kicks can uh, really soften up. Uh, that's true, and at the outset of this match, matter of fact, I, I really thought it looked like Jack would uh, uh, come out with that first fall. He's making his way out of this hold all right. No, uh, Miller's still got him uh, fixed in there, hasn't he? He's trying very, very hard to, uh, to make it out because he's got to get on his feet if he's going to win this match because there's only about a minute and a half left in it. Claiborne oh. holding on. Holding on to the arm. He has. He's come right out of the... Uh, leg lock that 
Uh, Miller had him trapped in. Mosses Miller to canvas. Miller probably feeling a little comfortable. One fall up. Nice body drop. Nice body drop there by Claiborne. Yes, well, here's his chance, uh, Jack. Here's his chance. I think Jack should be on his feet, Steve. Well, he's... Uh, sitting in there but he hasn't got too much time as you say Ernie left in this match and he should be going all out for the uh, at least an equalizing four. Oh, Claymore kicks off Miller is uh, waiting though he uh, Claymore came up thinking he'd move straight in but Miller was on his feet just waiting for Claymore to come in. Sunset put by Claiborne. Oh. Well, uh, kicks out with the scissors. That was close, Steve. Very, very close. Claiborne with a backbreaker and a cover. Counter two. Counter one, and Miller is under the ropes. Claiborne on top, referee calling for a break. by Jack Claymore, and a cover. Well, that's it. That's it. Well, Jack tried his best, and of course, the, the bout finishes uh, with uh, with Ron Miller on top. But as I said to Steve Rickard, I really thought that uh, uh, that uh, Jack Claiborne could, in fact, turn this one. All he did was a succession of drop kicks, but we must admit that that was a very fine bout to watch. Uh, Ron Miller, a very sporting man indeed. I think Ron Miller was very unlucky to lose the Commonwealth title last week, but that's in the past. Steve Rickard is at ringside, and Ron Miller's coming up to talk to him. Steve. Ron, I want to congratulate you on a very good win. I think it was tremendous. Mr Rickard, thank you very much. Professional wrestling, to me, it's the oldest and greatest of all sports. It can be great. A match like that against Jack Playborn makes you proud. But every now and again, somebody comes along like a Mr. Larry O'Day. Well, Larry O'Day, you've got your title, but I'm gonna get what I want. All I want is to get you back in the ring any way you want it. You wanna break the rules. You're not the only one that can break the rules, Larry O'Day. I can as well. So I'll take you on any stipulation, tape the fist, wrestling rules, boxing match, whatever you want, Larry O'Day. And when I get you in there, mate, this time, it's all mine. Ron, I'd like to see that match very much. I think we'd really see some action there from Ron Miller. And now, back to Ernie. Well, thank you, Steve. And uh, with me is uh, my friend uh, Billy T. James, who has come in. Uh, Billy, uh, what about a comment on that bout? Mm. What about that, eh, Granny? Yeah. Congratulations to Ron Miller, of course. I thought he did a great... I thought we had a, a good exhibition of uh, clean scientific wrestling, very reminiscent of the days of uh, Blomfield and El McCready and... Well, you picked it right, because Steve and I were saying that all the way uh, through the match. That yeah. was the sort of match that uh, we stuff, really yeah. enjoyed very much. Well, that's it for On The Mat. Thank you very much, uh, Billy T, for coming in and uh, being yeah. a guest on the programme. Hope to get you back sometime. That's it for On The Mat. We'll be back next week with more All-Star Pro Wrestling. In the meantime, on behalf of co-commentator Steve Rickard, we wish you all a very good night. Good night. <laughs>